this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and today I'm going to show you some of the more powerful features of HeavyBid that can improve your workflow and increase your efficiency. So the concept I'm going to show today is using the bid item codebook in the library estimate. Now a library estimate is nothing more than a completed estimate, but it would have all of the typical bid items that you would have. Uh, obviously, this would work well for people doing type DOT type projects or private projects where the items don't change a lot. Uh, they're pretty much in a, in a typical order. And so you would just go ahead and make a bid item. And you can also use parent-child relationships with this. I made one up here just kind of quickly off of one of the sample estimates in heavy bid. You notice that I just use kind of a dummy bid quantities here. And, you know, that makes sense. I obviously for something like uh, eight inch sanitary sewer, I don't use one foot. I use a thousand or maybe it would be 500 feet. And then when I make up the new estimate, I'll, I will put in the quantity from the takeoff. Now, the other thing that we have is the bid item code book, which references all of these items. I have the state over here. It doesn't have to be state. I put CO for your company. And we just put a dummy client item down here. So these would have, this would be all of your bid items that would be referenced in that library estimate. And then if you notice here, pull in other defaults, I have the library estimate. So this, each one of these would be referenced that uh, this library estimate bid item number. Uh, also, I have in here, typical prices, average prices, I can also have a low and a high. So this would be actually the price you would quote a customer here. It could be a DOT historical price. So let's go ahead and create an estimate and I'll show you how quick and easy this can be using combination of a library estimate and the bid item code book. So I'm gonna to go to file, new, new estimate. I'm gonna call this test demo. And let's just put demo estimate. Next, and this is my master estimate here. It has no bid items whatsoever in it. It could also, though, have an indirect or indirect bid items. I'm going to go ahead and finish this and create this estimate. Now, at this point, we don't have any bid items. I'll come in here. I'll show you in tree view. Like I said, you could have an indirect or indirect bid items here that would be copied from the master. Now I go to, to setup and bid items. There's a couple of ways to import it, but I'm only going to show you one way today, and that is select bid items here in the lower right. I indicate the code book I'm using, and I can also make this default. I just haven't done that. And I just go down and click the items that I might need. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more items uh, than I have for your, um, your library estimate. I'll just click a few more here to give you an idea. You notice here I have autofill numbers. It puts the items, the uh, bid item number here. There's the client from the library estimate. And now it's just a matter of putting in the actual takeoff quantities. So I would have my takeoff, or I could go ahead and just give best guess and then correct it later. I'll just go ahead and put some quantities in here. And just so you get an idea. And I'll put in four inlets. And then I'll put in 275. All right. So pretty quick. And then you notice I have, a, I have a, uh, some options down here. I can uh, increment by different numbers here. I can uh, clear my codes out and renumber. I can also take these out. So a lot of options on this screen. And then I just go ahead and save and close. And if you notice in my upper right-hand corner, this last change, as soon as I do that, the estimate is going to go out, compare itself to the bid item code book, and look at these codes. If it finds a match, it's going to bring in the applicable library estimate, and it's going to factor it to this bid quantity here and take off quantity. So a lot of things going on, and I go to save and close, 
Notice up here in the upper right, there's the, the uh, bid items and activities coming in with all the applicable resources. I come here to tree view, and there you go. Now, obviously, I would come down and check these and maybe min some, some uh, productions. And, of course, I'm going to go on to my folders and start putting in my quotes. But it gets a lot of the busy work out of the way. I'm not copying little parts and pieces from other estimates. And um, also an advantage of this is if you want a quick price on this estimate, I would be able to use my average price. I come back to set up bid items. And I come back down here to import bid items, DOT import, this time here. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it. And there's a setting here. I'm going to show it to you. Use average price as the bid item price right there. So all it's going to do is just use that average price. I'm going to build it. Makes a backup. And you notice here that my price is 139565 Well, let's go look at that. Now, I don't want to run my summary because then it would erase those prices. I go directly to my prices here and then I make sure that I put no I don't want to run my summary and if you notice there's the average bid price that came in from the bid item code book I already have a kind of a, a green sheet price right there I could also have there's also a way to bring in I can see my average my uh, low and my high uh, so this is always a good guide right here you can also as you're pricing things show uh, the all three of those prices if I go to customize and if you notice here I can show all three of these prices right in the customize screen so there's some more advantages of just having the activities and resources being brought into your estimate okay with all this said what can EWKS do for you well first of all uh, if you want us to, to assemble your library estimate, we would take maybe your best 10 to 20 estimates and assemble all the common bid items between all these estimates into one estimate. We would also build as best as possible a material code book if you don't already have one. From that point in time, it's very easy to make that the library estimate and then uh, export the bid items out into your bid item code book so you can take advantage of the same thing that you saw here today. If you're interested in this, uh, please feel free to contact me and we'll talk more. Uh, you could also do this on your own, but obviously it's going to take a lot of time and uh, time that you might not want to take out of your schedule and your, uh, and your work. So we can do this work quickly and keep your staff working on estimates while we're assembling this and getting this ready to roll out.